in 2014. He is behind in the polls. Now candidate for Governor Steve Grossman is unleashing his first TV ad. News Center 5's Janet Wu reports he's charging hard at Democratic opponent Martha Coakley. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Steve Grossman is running more than 30 points behind Martha Coakley as they head towards the primary, now less than two months away. He minced no words in his first television ad, which he unveiled to supporters. Who do you trust to grow our economy as governor? A career prosecutor or a proven jobs creator? And if that wasn't clear enough? I don't see evidence to demonstrate that Martha Coakley has been a jobs creator. Somebody who has her finger on the pulse of bold, innovative, imaginative outside, imaginative, outside the box strategies for building jobs in every corner of the Commonwealth. Coakley won't return a direct volley, but I ran as a, someone who prosecuted Wall Street. You know, I ran as uh, someone who wanted to promote a healthy economy. When I came in as Attorney General, we've worked in our office to cut barriers to business costs. You know, health care costs and energy costs. You know, you can't read the stuff in a briefing book and come out on the stage and talk about it with a lot of credibility unless you've done it. Grossman brings out a longtime employee at his family-owned business, whom he brags he twice provided six months of paid maternity leave more than two decades ago. The woman's vote is where he hopes to make inroads with the jobs issue. Coakley has a firm grip on that demographic right now. I met with some moms this morning uh, holding down full-time jobs and making sure that they're getting education. Those are the people in Massachusetts, the kids that we want to educate, the moms who want to come back to work and keep their jobs. Now, Grossman will launch his ad tomorrow with a $300,000 buy. As for Coakley, with a 34-point lead and a bank account less than one-half of Grossman's, she won't spend until she must.